welcome in the solid age tutorial series in this video i am going to explain how to create a throughout hole in the given object so for that we will make one rectangular block and in that we will make a centrally punched hole a central hole we will make so for that let's start go into new then select isometric part click on ok so we will make one rectangle so go into rectangle icon and here select rectangle by center now we will lock the frontal plane first so this frontal plane i have locked here this is symbol indicating that the plane f3 is locked that is this frontal plane now go at the here start from this origin click on this origin and make one rectangle now provide the thickness to this rectangle so for that just move the cursor over this rectangle so that the color will changed into red or just this rectangle will get highlighted click on this rectangle then highlight this option extrude symmetry click on this so already i have clicked here now click on this arrow or on this spear now along with my cursor the thickness it is going to increase or decrease now set the thickness here let's consider the thickness of this rectangular block is 30 mm so set 30 mm here now we will set the length and height or length and width of the rectangle so for that go into smart dimension and modify the dimension let's consider the block have length of 100 mm and width have say 50 mm so we have made here one rectangular block here whose length is 100 mm width is 50 mm and thickness is 30 mm now we will make a central hole of say diameter 20 mm so for that for creating this throughout hole go on this icon hole icon click here then this message will come no database file found in the given drive so simply click on okay doesn't matter then set the properties of the hole which we have to create which we have to create here so for that click on this hole options then here these are the different options first one is for the simple hole second one is for the threaded hole third one is for the counter bore fourth one is for counter sink and fifth one is for tapered hole so we have to make here simple hole so simply click on this then we will set the dimensions we have to set here dimension in millimeter so click here and select mm then here three options are given hole extents so these are the options for the hole extents first one is for through wall throughout the hole throughout hole we have to if we have to create then this can be selected then this one is for the throughout next and third one is for the finite extent so we have to make here throughout hole so we will select this and here the diameter we will set with the help of this so 
let's consider the diameter of our hole is say 20 millimeter so type simply 20 millimeter here and then click on ok now this along with my cursor this cylinder is moving so this cylinder is nothing but the fold which we have to create inside this rectangular block so as soon as I move the cursor on this rectangular block that particular portion will get punched so see here so we have to make here central point so simply move the cursor over this origin so whenever the origin will highlighted simply click left click so as soon as the clicking this hole will be generated inside this rectangular block still the hole command is active so to make it deactive simply click the button escape so it will be deactivated so here we can see that the hole is created hole of a diameter 20 millimeter which is central is created in this rectangular block so we can see it from back side also so see here the throughout hole we have created here so friends in this way the throughout holes can be created in the part modeling with the help of this whole command so for this video it is enough in the next video we will see how to create whole of a finite extent how to create whole of given depth so thanks for watching this video